y'all. It's me, Zoe, here at Zoe's World, and I have got another fabulous Dollar Tree haul for you. I went to two Dollar Tree stores today. I went to my favorite store, which is located in Greenville, Illinois. Um, I love that store just because it's not too terribly far from me, but I love it because they always seem to get a lot of the things that my other Dollar Trees that I go to all the time don't get. So I was super excited to go there today. Um, and then I also went to the um, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, it's, it's both, um, in Carlisle, Illinois, which is close to my home. So I did hit both of those stores up, so I've got lots of things to show you. So let's jump right in, grab you a drink. Y'all, I just made me a sweet tea. And I am ready to get this party started. Okay, so first thing I wanted to share, we'll start with the, the Family Dollar Dollar Tree combined store. I only got two small bags from there, so we'll start with their stuff first. But it's basically all Dollar Tree. And every item I'm showing you was, um, I think I got one item that is was not a dollar twenty-five. It's not a bonus item. At Family Dollar, they have both Dollar Tree and Family Dollar items, so they have a variety of prices. But when I get to something that was not a dollar twenty-five, I will let you know. Okay, so first thing up were these stickers. I think they are so pretty. I love the truck and the flowers. I think this is going to be a nice addition to some of my junk journaling that I plan on doing this year. There's that one. And at the Family Dollar Dollar Tree stores that have both in them, um, anything that it was is normally Dollar Tree items, they're all $1.25. Um, so I got some more of this Crafter Square uh, double stick tape. I use this all the time for junk journaling. I did purchase two of these. I got more junk journaling going on this week. Then I picked up these flower stickers. I think these are so pretty. I love the thankful up here. But I cannot wait to use these. And y'all, I know we're just in winter really, but I am ready for spring already. And then I don't know if y'all remembered, I got that woodpecker feed um the square, I found this today at the Dollar Tree at Family Dollar Mix Store, and this is just $1.25 too. It has a little hanger on it to hang it, so I'm going to put that in here for the woodpeckers. And then, next bag. I got three of these. I asked them to bag them separately because their glitter is going everywhere these carrots they're so fun they just they stand up they're stuck inside the little wooden base but it's so they can stand up and they like sit straight up which I think this would be adorable on a little table they had yellow and orange ones I got two orange and one yellow because I just I like kind of things in threes if I'm going to do an uneven number, either like like two and two or like an uneven number of three. So I figured like on a table, this would be cute together like this. So I love those. Like I said, they were $1.25, but they do shed and glitter everywhere. Okay, and the last time I got at this location um, was this Casper movie. I don't think I own this one. I have a huge DVD collection and I don't remember buying this one ever. They had their DVDs on sale half price. So it's marked $5, but I got it for $2.50. So I picked that up. And y'all know I love all the holidays, including Halloween. Sorry, y'all. My face is itching. I don't have any makeup on today except for powder because my face is breaking out. And so anytime that starts to happen, I try to leave it off a few days and air my skin. And I'm going to do some skincare today, so I went ahead and just left the makeup off. Okay, y'all, now we're going to go on to my favorite Greenville location store. I got lots of bags from them. So here we come, Dollar Tree. I did not purchase any bonus items at this store either. First thing, y'all, my store is sold out of this, probably because I bought most of them. The three pack of the cotton candy. You guys have seen me buy this before because it's my favorite. I'm trying to get as much of it as I can while it's still here for Valentine's Day. But I've only been buying one at a time because, y'all, I just want to sit there and eat it. So, 
Um, it's got the three flavors, blue raspberry, cotton candy, and watermelon. So I picked this up. Then I purchased these before. They're the antibacterial hand wipes. I like to keep these in my car. Just when we're running around or whatever, we can wipe our hands off with them. It looks like you get 50 wipes in a container. And then I've not seen this at my local store, so I was excited to have found it. It's Brillo Basics Oxy Blast Stain Remover. Color safe cleaning for carpet, laundry, bathroom, and kitchen. I'm going to use it in the laundry. Now, I use, usually use that LA Awesome powder, base cleaner, but I thought since they had these there, why not give them a try? I purchased two of these. And they are 16 ounces. The bags are 16 ounces. So it was a product I had never tried. I do like a lot of the Brillo stuff, so I thought I'd give it a go. This next item I purchased was this classic zesty Italian dressing mar and marinade. Um, we make an Italian chicken sometimes, and I haven't made it in a while, so when I seen this, I thought, oh, that's a perfect thing to throw on our chicken breast I got in the freezer. So probably make some of that up in the crock pot. So I purchased this there. Then I love the flower brand, which is the Drew Barrymore Cosmetics, and I love finding them at Dollar Tree for $1.25. Um, they had this matte lipstick and pearlized gloss. They only had the one color. But I went ahead and purchased it. I normally would have got me and Jamie both one, my friend Jamie, because she's a makeup girl. But I think this color is going to be darker than what she would like. So I didn't get her one this time because I didn't think she would wear it. I'll try to open it so I can show y'all. Well, yeah, it's like sealed shut. Oh, it's got like a, let me get my scissors out. I'm trying y'all. It didn't matter if I open, tear up the box cause it's just for me. So we can just cut it open, make it easier. So that's what the box looks like. And then it's really neat. So it's got the lip gloss on one and the matte lipstick on the other end oh looking at this now it doesn't look as dark in the lipstick color jamie might have liked that i don't know i'll have to ask her i have to go back and get her one but this is the lipstick i think it's so pretty that color and then let's watch it for you guys oh yeah it's really pretty and looking at it on now jamie might have worn that She's not like me. She doesn't like the wild colors and everything that I like. I was going by what it was showing, which was the lip gloss. And this is the lip gloss. And it's got kind of a purplish pink tint to, to it. That's the gloss right there at the top. So I think this is a pretty color. I wish now I would have got one for Jamie. I almost did, but I was like... I don't want to get it and her not want it because I've been buying a lot of lipsticks lately and I didn't want to be, you know, have something I'm not going to use. Okay, y'all, let me wipe this off real quick. Should use those hand sanitizer wipes I had just purchased. Put this stuff back in this bag. And then we will move on to the next bag of goodies. Y'all, it's beautiful today. We're not freezing. It is so nice. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I was super excited, though, to find that flower, flower lipstick and gloss. That is one that I will definitely use. And I cannot wait. So pretty. Okay, on to the next bag. They're so full. <laughs> this next thing I got 
just sound and sounded interesting. It's new Carmella Creeper. It says it's artificially flavored caramel apple cereal. I love me some caramel apple anything. So I went and picked that up. Now this is not the large size or the family size. This is just a small box, but I was okay by paying $1.25 for it to try the caramel apple. I love, even if I can't get the big sizes, if it's something I've never tried and I would like to try it, I don't mind paying $1.25 just so I can see if I like it or not, and then I can always buy it in bigger bulk kind of thing. I have a feeling though this one was probably one from like Halloween or something, because cereal lasts a really long time. This expiration is July of this year, 2024. So it'll be eight before then. Okay, y'all. Next item, I picked up some more of the super glue. I use this on my nails to put my fake nails on. Get the two bottles for the dollar twenty-five. Then in my cabinet at work, I was getting low on these water packets. Um, I got the Sun Kiss Pineapple and the Watermelon Crush. And I like to make um, the water cocktails where I kind of mix a couple flavors together with lots of ice. Sometimes some of my skinny syrups and they are just like a mocktail. Which I love. This next item is this Assured um, Razor and it's, it comes with, looks like, you get the razor and then you get three blades. I like this one a lot. It really cuts well. And I actually have a, I've always used like a, men, a men's mock three razor, whatever it is. And it's always worked great for me. But the last couple times I've got refills, they haven't seemed to like work as well. I, I don't know if they've changed it or what. Then I went to Walmart and I got this girly razor that's like pink. I cannot remember what they call it, but they carry like the refills for it and everything. It's really cute. comes in different like fun, funky colors. But I hated it. I hated the way it felt. It felt like it was gliding on my legs, but it didn't seem like it was taking the hair down, like all the way down kind of thing. So going back to my Dollar Tree razors, because I do know it works for me. Then y'all, I showed you in yesterday's haul, the Hey Humans line that I found. I found that banana and I found this, I think it was sage mint. Today I found the lavender vanilla body lotion at this location. So I got two of these. I thought Jamie might want one of these. So that's why I got the two. And if she doesn't, that's okay. I'll just put it in my cabinet and use it when I get it. But this is body lotion. Y'all, you cannot beat getting these at Dollar Tree for a buck twenty-five. Okay, let me stick this stuff back in its bag and then we'll move on to the next one. y'all next bag I found some books at this location I usually do pretty well with books there I found this um all night long with a cowboy y'all love me some cowboys love 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 me some cowboys and I seen this and I thought oh yes ma'am I need to read about this so cannot wait to read it I'll let y'all know how it is then I was really looking for the Hallmark books. Um, someone I saw haul a bunch of, of Hallmark, like, holiday Christmas books. I want them all so badly, but this is the only one I found at my location. It's Journey Back to Christmas. I'm Hallmark crazy, so I wish I could find more Hallmark books, but like I said, this is the only one they had there. So I picked it up. Then I got this... Um, the 12 Days of Snowball. This is not a Hallmark one, but it looked cute, so I went ahead and picked it up, too. And then I also, I was reading the, the cover on this one, and it looked like it was going to be a good read. It says, All the Lost Things. So I thought I'd pick this up to my girl and her dad. So hopefully these are some good reads. Then, I need a 
need to get um, some Valentine's Day cards because I need to get them in the mail to my family because they're not around here and I want to make sure they get them in time. So I picked... I was like, what is that? Something's blowing in the car. I picked this up. This is a card for my daughter. It's really pretty. And it just says, daughter, love the way you live your life with kindness, strength, and grace. You're beautiful in every sense of the word and love so very much. Happy Valentine's Day. So I need to mail that to her with her Valentine's bag goodies. And because I don't think I'll see her before then. And then I picked a card up to mail to my dad. Dad, you're loved so much. Because it's Valentine's Day, just wanted to tell you how much you're appreciated and how much you're loved today and every day. Neither one of them watch my channel, to my knowledge. So I sent, I'm going to send these in the mail to them. And then I got a card from my husband. I'm not going to read it because he does watch my channel. And then, um... Some good friends of ours, um, her grandma passed away, so I picked up a sympathy card for them. Gonna get that in the mail, too. And then I found these cute cards. Um, they're Be Happy cards. I'm sorry, y'all. Stickers. And I just thought they were so stinking cute, and I had to have them for my junk journaling. So I picked these up. It says there's 21 pieces on them. They're Jot. They're made by Jot. So, love those. Had to get them. Okay. Then, y'all, I found the Easter gnomes. And the more I kept looking at these things, the more I was like, I know that last year I bought Easter gnomes. I just know I did. And I was like, I just bought that green one at my store, kind of on impulse, because I kept thinking, have I bought any this year yet? No, I'm pretty sure I haven't. I bought Valentine's ones. But y'all, looking at them, I'm nearly positive they're identical to last year. I could be wrong. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. But I went there today, and they had all four of them. But all four, the one I showed you the other day from my store was green. I called it plaid, but it was really more like a checkered print. And this one has the checkered print, but it's pink. But the other one had, like, braids. This one has no braids. It's just the beard with the Easter ears. But y'all, every one of the other ones, which was a purple and a blue, they all looked just like this one, just purple and blue. None of them had braids. They all just had the beard. So I opted not to get them because I feel like I'm nearly positive they're the same as last year's. And I bought them all last year. So if, if that's not the case, I probably just missed out. But I feel like I did buy them and I have a feeling these are just going to be duplicates for me. Can always use them somewhere else in the house, or I might end up using them as like a giveaway or something. So, but I went ahead and got the pink one today to go with that green one because I feel like you at least need a pair. So, I got that guy. Then I picked up another one of these little mini albums. I'm doing a little special thing. Uh, we're putting photos from our parties with our boss in little albums for her to have of all, all the staff. So, we're going to get this. Um, all worked up and, and ready for her to give to her on her last day. Her party yesterday, y'all, if you watch my other videos, you know I went to her retirement party. She had a great time. I think it was a lot of fun. We all had a great time, everybody who was there. Then, y'all, I've been picking these up ever since I came across them. They work amazingly better than just as well as any of them I'm buying from Walmart. It's the regular pads with organic cotton. So I picked these up. For $1.25, y'all, you can't beat it. And they do carry all the different sizes. This is just a regular. Then, y'all, I started using these. If you see my other Dollar Tree videos, I picked up two last time, then one for Jamie. And then when I went there today, this is the only one they had. Y'all, these work amazing. If you have not seen those, those other videos, you can take a look in my um, video list. But, y'all, I got these the other day. Compared to Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleansing Towelettes. I use the Dollar Tree wipes all the time. You know, they have all different kinds. This is the best one I've ever found there. It feels amazing on your skin. I can't even really explain it. It makes your skin feel kind of light and refreshed after you clean your makeup off with it. And they're bigger than all the other ones in size. So I really, really like these. And if they had more there, I would have purchased them. But this, they only had one single pack there. So I went ahead and got this to add to my closet, my stash. 
Then I came across these games that says, say what card game? Unscramble the Babble. It says collect all four. So I guess there are multiple kinds. Um, this is the only one that I found. These frantic phonetics will make you babble along as you try to sound out the sentences without melting your brain or twisting your tongue. Do you have what it takes to unscramble the babble? So there's a card game. I love me some games. And then I also found this mishmash celebrity edition. Be the first to unscramble the cel the celebrity. So I got each of these card games. I thought that was a good deal for $1.25 each. Okay. Then y'all, this is a trusty standby. I got this for Jack. It's his favorite, soft caramels. These, y'all, you guys see me buying these quite frequently, but you don't get very many in pack at all. And he kind of opens them, takes one. He leaves his just sitting. He's not like me. I mean, I could sit there and just keep eating them. But um, he'll just leave them sitting, and then when he wants something sweet, he'll go grab a piece out or whatever. <laughs> so they do last him a lot longer than they last me. So I wanted to share those with you. And then the last item that's in this bag, um, I just picked this up because we do so many projects, and I think this is really useful. It's a putty knife set. You get all three, a small, a medium, and a, this is the small, this is the medium, this is the large. And I thought for $1.25, I am having to putty all the time. So I went ahead and picked this up because I know when we move to, we're going to have tons of projects because we're looking at either doing a shed to house home or a fixer upper. So whatever we end up doing, I'm sure there's going to be lots of projects that I'm going to need these for. So I picked that up for $1.25. Next bag, and this is the last bag, I think. Um, I found these, and you get um, two of them in, in a packet, and what they are is they're meal portions. Medium size, you get the containers and the lids, so you get two containers, two lids, and this is what it looks like. See the dividers to divide your stuff up to take work to work in so I like these a lot and um, they had them in this pink color which pinks my favorite color so I picked this up for me to you know take my lunch kind of thing and then they also had this color which is Jamie's favorite color so I picked these up for her so she'll get two and I'll get two and then y'all I picked up another pack of these 15 count paper plates you're going to keep seeing me haul these because we're using them. Um, especially the more dishes that I pack up, the less that we have to use. <laughs> then I picked up these four pack. These are just little mini glass containers. These are great to put ketchup in, uh, ranch dressing, any kind of sauce you want to do dipping in or whatever. That's what I got these for. And you get the four pack for the dollar twenty-five. And then, y'all, I don't find these very often at my location, but I do see them occasionally at the Greenville location. This is a glass, and it's microwave safe, lid, or a glass bowl with a removable lid that's plastic. And I love these. These are great size. They're deep, and I just like to store things in them. So pick those up, or one of those up, I should say. And then there was one item that I forgot to share with you from that first Dollar Tree Family Dollar mix store. And the reason I forgot to share it was I had already opened it and was eating them. Yes, y'all, another snack. And these were not $1.25 at that location. They were $2.50, but it's a, it's a bigger portion than what, like, the $1.25 bags are. These are, like, one of my favorite candies. And I told you all the other day, those hair, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Haribo gummies were my favorite. Those are not my favorite gummies. They're my second favorite. My favorite actual gummies are the um, uh, Albanese, Albanese sour ones. Those are my favorite. Then the Haribos, because I can't always find the, ha the um, is it Albanese? Am I saying that right? Anyway, one of those two I try to always find in my Dollar Tree, but they sometimes don't have one or the other. And then y'all... I love these. They're also a gummy candy with nerds. How could you go wrong? So that is everything from today's fabulous Dollar Tree haul. 
I hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know, have you guys been out to your stores? Are you finding anything new? I'm not finding a ton of new products, but I am finding stuff here and there. I'm loving those body lotions and those body sprays. I think that's, I just love getting a really good deal. Super excited about the books. Um, I think my favorite item out of today's haul is probably going to be that flower lip gloss lipstick and the books because I'm excited about these books. <laughs> and they're like easy reads, like they're not super long, so I can read them pretty quickly. So yes, y'all, that is the haul for today. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what your favorite item was. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please uh, subscribe if you like what you're seeing and um, share it with a friend. I thank you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Be blessed. Bye.